Senator Rounds has now introduced a bill calling for an end to the Education Department. He joins us this morning to discuss. Senator Rounds, um, explain why you think this is a good idea. Well, good morning, and, and thanks for the opportunity. What we want to do is to take the programs, a number of which were there in 1979 when the department was formed, put them back into the original departments where they were at to begin with, eliminate a lot of the regulatory nesting that has occurred within the particular Department of Education. We think we can save administrative dollars, but at the same time get rid of a lot of the, the overreach which has occurred within education in the United States. States, for the most part, prefer to make their decisions on how they educate the children on their own. They really don't need a bureaucrat in Washington, D.C. sending out a one-size-fits-all policy in order to receive federal funding in a particular program. Our goal is to take those critical ones, special ed, so forth, uh, Native American education funds, put those back where they were in the first place, and eliminate the rest of the department. In doing so, we will save administrative dollars, but we will also, and most importantly, we'll get rid of a lot of the regulatory overreach that so many people in the United States have just been fed up with when it comes to the Department of Education. So, not taking away the good programs, the direct funding, the, uh, the opportunity to do block grants back to the states, that's our goal, but to eliminate a lot of the one-size-fits-all, which right now a lot of people are very frustrated with. Senator Rounds, I, I, I hear you when it comes to bureaucracy and uh, ineffectiveness through bureaucracy. <clears throat> However, as the mother of a special needs child, I have serious concerns about what that will mean. Um, if you are giving special needs education money back to the states to decide what to do with that. I mean, the Department of Education has been responsible for making sure that there is an appropriate, a free and appropriate public education to all eligible individuals with, um, with, with special needs for years and years. Will that still go on the same way? Will there still be ties to federal funding for that? Or will the states get to decide we, we, we'll go along with this or we won't? The funding will be there and the direction by Congress is still there. And, and I really appreciate your insight because that's exactly what we're trying to make sure stays in place, which is those areas where we've directed how the funding should be done will still go back to the states and with the same directions and still the same direction from Congress. Those programs we have transferred entirely out of the Department of Education and put back where they would have been originally. Some will go to Interior, some will go to Health and Human Services, some will go to to Treasury with regard to student loans. So our goal is not to take the funding away in any way, shape, or form, but rather to direct it back and take a lot of the regulatory oversight and one size fits all that so many people have been frustrated with. <clears throat> Excuse me. Special Ed is probably the best example of the reason why we want to make sure that we don't lose those particular types of programming that a lot of people rely on today. I, I mean, I guess my question is, Department of Education was responsible for oversight, making sure that the states actually were continuing to use that money to provide the education to a free and appropriate public education. Will there be oversight for that, or is this going to be, you get the federal funding no matter what? No, in, in some cases, uh, it will go back without strings, so you would have block granting and allow the states that responsibility and the authority for how they think is best for the kids within their state. Look, just because you're a bureaucrat in Washington, D.C., doesn't mean that you know better than having somebody at the local or at the state level. But there are some in which Congress has decided that they want specific programs in place. Special Ed is a very good example. Another example would be with Native American education funding, which has been put under the Department of Education as well, and yet we find them to be inadequately taken care of. And the tribes really do struggle with the Department of Education in that particular regard. We think it's closer if we can get it back to the tribes, allow the tribes to actually have say in how they are, are, are training or providing an education for their kids, allow them to make more of those decisions at the local level and have consultation with the tribes. At the present time, there is a real frustration with the way the Department of Education tries to do uh, their job by doing more or less a one-size-fits-all across all states whether they're and, and in areas whether they're urban or rural. 
Is we think by taking to... the Department of Education out of it, we've got a yeah. better chance of actually delivering more dollars effectively at the state and local level. The idea of more dollars effective, being effective is great, but is there a way to guarantee that um, <clears throat> you don't get railroaded by a local or state um, planning process? I mean, I, I, I hear you and I want to believe it. I want to think it's great news, but I will tell you there are parents in this community who are freaked out at this point, who are very worried that their kids are no longer going to be able to get the services that they are getting at this point. They'll be lumped back in in, in areas where there are shortages. Is there a way to make sure that there are protections, or do you think that'll be up to the courts to then decide? I think, in, <clears throat> excuse me, there, with special ed as the example, nobody wants to take away funding for special ed. But what you do find is that the federal government has always underfunded special education. And so the folks at the local level end up picking up a significant amount of the costs involved right now. And yet, rather than becoming more efficient or direct with their funding and taking care of it, we suddenly think that somebody at the federal level is going to make a better decision about how to help that young person than somebody at the local or state level. I think we've got to go back to allowing the state and local entities a little bit more authority and, and recognize that they want the best for these kids as well. And a one size does not fit all for all kids. And yet the bureaucracy is still here and they seem to think that they can make a better choice.